I guess I'm like another video. Today I'm be telling you if Sport Mode is worth the ten dollars it is listed for on the Oculus App Store. And most people will say, "Oh yeah, it is so worth it." And it's only ten bucks, and they're right. It has great physics, like that. And also, it has great combat physics too. It has great weapon mechanics, great all that stuff. But there are some things that it that, that there's are some downfalls to the game. But most of the game is good. So um, we'll start with reasoning number one. I want to take a pick. With. Duh. Okay, so reasoning number one, we're going to get into physics. So we know that fi this game has, uh, originally there's a free version of Physics Playground. And basically that version is the beta version of this. It's also free, it's on side, side quests, but this is the full version, the $10 one. And you see the physics are really good. You know, also when you swing your hands, you kind of move like in real life. We were just... Uh, it would go. So, it has pretty good combat. So, if I were to change my thing, you see, you can easily lift the character, the dummy, if you have enough strength. But if you do not, well, it's just gonna, you can't even move it. And you can't kill it with one hit. So, yeah. That's everything for physics. Mom into weapon physics. I want to take a pick. With Cardi. Okay, so weapon physics are pretty much the exact same. They're kind of easy to control with certain strengths. Like the sledgehammer. If I go into melee and I get myself a sledgehammer, on strength one, this is like kind of impossible to move. But on strength 10, it's like the kunai. It's super easy to move around. So the, it's kind of bait, it's kind of like real life, not like blade and sorcery where you can just pick it up no matter what. So it's kind of like real life, the stronger you are, the easier it is to um hold and pick up stuff. So the baseball bat is really easy to use. It's also my favorite melee, okay. It's also my favorite melee um, in this game. But that, okay, so first off, I'm gonna talk about this gun. It's, it, you can you can use it for mobility because you have infinite ammo. It's also um, insane for killing dummies. Just you can kill them super easily. So it's pretty good gun, but it has no recoil. Like none of these guns have any recoil. See the gun. You can barely see the gun move. So, it has no recoil, but the bullet, for some reason, decides that it wants to go a different direction. So, it has kind of bullet, a bullet, the bullet has a velocity or whatever, but the gun has legitimately further no recoil. If I were to like this, see how there, it went up there. So, yeah, the gun has, like, not that much recoil, so, uh, let's move on to a different gun. The next gun is the revolver. This gun kind of it, it has real world physics. Um, you know, it's not like some games with some VR games with guns where it'll just shoot even if you put one bullet in. You actually have to twist it. So it is kind of the ultimate physics game. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's move on to scaling and stuff. I want to take a pick with Cardi. All right. So for scaling, I'm gonna be talking about like climbing. Now, overall, it has pretty good climbing mechanics. Uh, you can just stick your hand on something, like in real life, and just push, like, or grab. You can't grab anything, but you can, like, put your hand and get it caught. You can kind of, like, crawl, like, really fast. Or you can jump. I have jetpack on right now, but you can jump and just get up. So, uh, yeah, I think it's pretty cool how well... The, the scaling actually is. It's way easier to control than Blade and Sorcery, in my opinion. Because Blade and Sorcery, when you grab it, it does the same thing that you're grabbing it, and then you just fall when you try to do another hand. So it's a kind of a weird thing. 